Alrighty, so this is going to be one hell of an update, uh, multiple updates, because uh, yeah, I, I kind of like these things. I, I get a lot of uh, stuff done in, in one video and then I can go and focus on other things, which is partially what this update is about. So I wanted to give you an update of what happened to the Axis and Allies um, World War I 1914 game and uh, Luz, uh, the big push from Decision Games. Well, I put them both away uh, for a couple of reasons, or a variety of reasons or whatever. One is... Um, just, uh, we're just not, uh, we're doing way more misses than hits, um, Rob and I with this game. Like, we're just not running into each other enough times for, uh, the game day. And I just, it's, it would be too clunky, I think, um, to do it via the community tab right now. Maybe a smaller game or something. I don't know. Just, um, and it's a good idea, but like, a lot of my ideas perhaps are, um, you know, it's, uh, my eyes are bigger than my stomach kind of thing so love the game i'm not going to uh diss this whatsoever even like <clears throat> for example stefan and zoe loved uh doing some turns so i was thinking you know what this is what uh we may do over the holidays we'll just uh uh this is the thing there's a lot of these games over here are for things that for me are going to have to end up being uh when somebody pops over for an afternoon or what have you you have to drag me to do these i, I do have the urge i obviously want to play these games but um, I've got other priorities and those priorities for me, well, they're priorities. They're, uh, I want, you know, I want to focus on other things and other things are getting, uh, those things are just not getting done. And I really want to do, uh, good jobs with those things. So that's that. I don't feel guilty about it. I kind of feel a bit about it. I was like, hey, maybe some people were like, what the hell? But, and like I said, this one, um, the same thing, uh, like the game, I, I only did a little bit, but I don't see any. Uh, issues with it and I certainly would like to play um, you know if Rob wants to play with it or something no problem uh, what else can I show you so here's the other update I've uh, oh my god this plane's going to take for freaking ever to do hopefully it's coming out all okay with uh, the light in the background um, so yeah I had actually they were it was completely different colors um, and I just didn't like the color combo and well on an odd uh, interesting way of saying it is that um, the last miss with um, Rob and I for game day, I ended uh, he, well, we couldn't go, so I ended up going to the art supply store. Uh, picked up some beautiful new Art Deco paints while the aloe and the laurel, uh, just absolutely gorgeous, at least for me. Nice color combos as far as I'm concerned. And then the gray is just the light gray sky with the laurel. Um, and uh, talking with me, Henry Mike, and he suggested, and I was like, yeah, you know what, this is, yet again, I'm still testing, for God's sakes, this isn't even a real Ottoman Plains from 1924. Um, just pl practice around. So I was like, oh, darn it, I had already varnished most of it, and so on and so forth. I was like, oh, shoot, I want to go and do it. And even Zoe was like, I really enjoy the old street look that you had with the Fokker DR1. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll try it again. I'm trying. We'll see. Like I said, but it's a practice. Uh, just practice. I did the tail bit. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that well or not or whatever. But like I said, I'm just practicing. I just went up to this bit here and I haven't even done the sides yet. But uh, I will see if it do a weathered look or yet again. I, I, yeah, this was like after talking that night and I'll have to redo this whole bit. And I'm just learn. I mean, I'm just going to practice, man. I'm just going to keep on trucking. The nice thing is I got to spend the whole day yesterday, uh, well not the whole day, but quite a bit of the day with Zoe. We actually got to, went to the, uh, the hobby shop, which was great. Yet again, oh my god. God, I've got to start learning, man. So I was like, I ended up buying a 1 to, 1 to 48, and even though I've got a 4 trillion models there, I bought a 1 to 48 because I was like, oh, an Airfix. I'd like to try a 1 to 48 Airfix to see the different manufacturers and see how the parts are. And uh, it's a Tiger Moth. I thought, oh, you know, Tiger Moth, that's a World War I plane. This one was made in 1931. I'm like, oh my God, Jesus Christ, Chris. Read the goddamn whatever. But anyway, so, uh, so, uh, but, but I did buy another uh, Academy SPAD um, 8 or 13 or whatever the hell it is. Oh gosh, do I ever like that? Uh, ever like that plane. It's a really sweet looking plane. Uh, that's the Belgian one I did. So I bought another one, another one, one to 72. They had a one to 24 scale one version of it. I was like, oh Jesus Christ. Um, so anyways, we got to, um, didn't play this game, but we got to talk about it and it was really nice. I was like, Zoe, what do you think about, so we're only going to do two new changes. She was like, I really like that about, uh, being able to shoot any time, uh, a plane comes in front of me. So we're going to extend, extend that in, in some ways. It's going to be regardless. So even if a plane is, I don't know if you can see what you can see here. 
is um, so even if let's say your momentum turn or the very first turn if uh, let's say you're at speed two and this plane is here um, and you're going by it like that this uh, this plane could shoot it uh, if it wanted to well, it wouldn't hopefully not they're both the same nationality but you get the idea uh, the other thing is and uh, we suggest and um, we're gonna go with it and try well these are the two tw uh, tweaks and like I said we'll do the little tweaks at a time and it's really nice to be debriefing or or whatever you want to call it this is we're gonna convert we're gonna go to hexes and see how that works and I'm just gonna I showed her my old my old prototype thing there with packing tape and whatnot. I was like, look, so I can easily make a bunch of these and just lay them on the glass and uh, away we go from there. And then uh, we can try the hex movements. Uh, that'll be what the, the next thing we're gonna do. And the other uh, uh, thing is going to do is we're now gonna have a range. So it'll be up to a range of two and it just means uh, from two, distant, uh, two uh, hexes away, uh, you have less chance of hitting them. That's all. And then later on, we were thinking of integrating uh, skill later on. So, you know, so on and so forth. Maybe, as I said, um, from successful missions, adding these cards here. Uh, see here, like the Fokker, uh, the Fokker um, D8 here. The pilot just made it, of course. Helmet uh, Roth. Um, and then he um, successfully did one mission and had one kill. And when later on, when I went to go do his roles, um, he didn't learn, so he wasn't allowed to add anything to his aim or his control kind of thing, if you get the idea. And the Airco DH2, uh, Charles Pettinger didn't make, uh, did make it, but didn't successfully do something. And then the Fokker Eindecker 3, uh, Eric Haas, Erich, I don't know if that's how you do it, Haas, and I shouldn't do that, so I'm probably butchering this stuff out of things. And then Thomas Wolf. you get the idea. So that's that, and then the final little bit, so I'm excited to um, see this, but oh, and then Zoe gets me for my birthday, uh, God, she knows me well, eh? Look at this, squirrel and boots, I just thought, well, because it's for the red squirrel, but when I saw the boots, I was like, oh my God, put some boots for Leo and whatnot, but uh, cool looking card, I can tell you that much. Then I saw these things, I've been staring at them at, at, on Amazon too. Is uh, I was like maybe way back when, I was like, maybe I'll just go, go with the cheapy, ultra cheapy, these are like these, I don't know, uh, barely any metal, uh, th like thin things. Uh, she found them at the di at the discount value village thing. <laughs> it's the exact same ones. I mean, missing a couple places. Who cares? And uh, every single one of them is bent, broken. There's missing stuff. Easy to fix and something interesting to fix. I'm hoping. And I was like, wait a minute. This is going to give me an idea of uh, maybe this is is there some way I can I can make these in with. Um, uh, cardboard and hard. Well, I know how to harden things up. I've done plaster casts. I've, uh, you know, I've made um, uh, silicone molds, the whole nine yards, that type of stuff. So I can get um, certainly start making. Um, know how to make things rigid with um, varnish and glue and all that stuff. And anyways, that's it. I just wanted to kind of give you like a multiple update things. And still do the final up multiple update things since it is. Uh, Halloween. I'm not getting uh, Zoe was like, wow, I'm just not into, uh, like I said before, I'm just not into Halloween the way I used to be into Halloween because of what I'm into and I'm not feeling bad about it. This is going to be weird though, it's the first year I've never had a, um, um, I've done jack-o'-lanterns. This is going to be weird, really weird. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the final bit and this is how I'm going to kind of uh, meet the kids. Uh, before, you know, before I would like dress up a little bit more and stuff, but I'm not. But I did want to, I really enjoy, I love this robe. I would like to get a, I actually do have a proper wand. I'll show you my little wand too. I don't know where the hell my wand is. Oh, it's over there. Hold on. But that's what I'm going to look like. I hope you can see that. So, yeah, I love this robe. I picked it up at Zeller's ages ago. Um, ironically, Meandering Mike mentioned the word Zeller's uh, to me on the weekend. I was like, what the heck? Oh my God, I think I may have uh, shown things that I didn't want people to see. Shit. But there's my um, my wand. Hopefully you can see that thing. Um, I'll put it off to the the thing. Damn it! I'm gonna start. Oh, I'm gonna have to look at the can, uh, on the thing, obviously. But uh, that's my wand. That came from this plant. I'll show you. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? But uh, we're going anyways. So uh, we're going into the other room. So that pl that tip used to be part of. See that thing that's cut off there? So that thing used to be extended onto that thing. I used to have to take that freaking plant at a severe angle to get it outside every year, but uh, 
Uh, and then I was like, it, I can't remember what the hell I did, but I was just like, okay, enough's enough. Uh, uh, oh, that's right, I saw secondary growth, or I can't remember, or whatever. But then I kept that thing, I was like, well, it's going to be, it's a cool little wand. All right, happy Halloween, see you later, guys.